Now, for some of you guys, this case will be just an ordinary case that has both full panels of steel and it doesn't look that good. But that's just only for the looks, right? Because after all, we are going to talk today about the Antec P101 Silent, which definitely, in my opinion, is an outstanding case. Right at the start of the video, I'm going to say that because there's loads of things going inside and it's not a standard PC case. It gives much more and it gives you guys something that, um, for instance, it has multiple possibilities. It can be used as a server tower PC and it can be used as, um, I don't know, for uh, loads of storage or like a standard PC because, well, we'll get to that part later on. The cool thing is it has a front that you could easily remove like so and it's magnetic so that's a plus of course no screws no nothing you have a possibility to mount at the top uh, 5.25 inch uh, dvd drive or anything you decide to put there and you have a dust filter which is attached with a clip so you can clean it up and it's quite nice of course so basically we have some sort of a color scheme going on inside of course uh, black and white going throughout the whole case we have the PCI Express uh, expansion slots in those colors we have the whole chassis inside in white and combination of black on everything else but what's it all about this case now as I already said you have uh, full-size panels and uh, here is the thing so you do need to pop out two pegs on the front and then you just slide out the case and here is the thing so you see this is a dampening pad let's put it that way uh, that goes throughout the whole metal chassis the side panel and the same thing goes on the top the same thing goes on the back side and I don't think we yeah we have it on the front as well so basically the silent name goes just because it's silent without a doubt and if you use a some sort of a nice um, air tower cooler that could you know cool down your CPU without too much stress and without fans going into hyperspeed that's quite nice because it keeps it cool now, since we're talking about the case, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, this case is huge. And when I say huge, you can even place an E80X motherboard. And for instance, if you had the possibility to place a radiator at the top, you could really go crazy at the top as well. But since we're talking about a silent case that is mostly designed for, as you can see, loads of storage, because right here you have eight 3.5 inch caddies for your uh, hard drives of course there's a possibility to mount ssds as well so if you decide to place ssds instead of hard drives you can do that as well place your hard drive or an ssd here place it back inside and basically connect everything from the back directly to your power supply or directly and directly to your motherboard or some sort of a card uh, that can support eight uh, hard drives uh, if you're going with some sort of a right field to actually manage those hard drives and have redundancy. Now, right here I used totally, completely different components than I usually do except for the processor because uh, for instance, I didn't use cable mod cables in this build because it's a closed build. There's nothing to uh, show except the storage capacity. And even though you have eight uh, caddies here for 3.5 inch uh, hard drives or 2.5 inch SSDs, you can add two more 2.5 inch SSDs at the back with quite nice and easy accessible caddies and you need to attach the SSD. So this is plain, there's no intake uh, here on the power supply shroud, like on the Flux family, this is something else. Uh, the caddy for the, for the DVD drive is right here at the top. And I think, I'm not quite sure if you can acquire additional caddy uh, like this and remove this one on top, the DVD drive caddy, you can maybe even add two more. So that would be 10 hard drives in one PC case. And the cool thing is that 
it can actually fit. I mean, we have loads of space. The case is uh, so nicely arranged that you can place the Noctua without a problem. Even though I didn't use low profile RAMs, I used the first RAMs that I had. Wanted to go with, uh, let's say, extreme RAMs because if you're taking into consideration of creating this case into a server, you want to fill out those hard drives and you want to put a big amount of uh, RAMs 64 128 gigs that's the way to go graphic card is here either just for your visuals if you don't go with a processor that has integrated graphic cards so the graphic card doesn't matter but for instance you decide to turn this case into a silent extreme gaming pc now for instance there is a possibility to remove all the hard drive caddies put a pump res combo right here you can put a 360 radiator on front maybe even a larger if you remove the 525 inch uh, bracket here remove all the hard drives i think you can maybe squeeze in a 420 i think that's an option here as well and you have 140 at the back now i forgot to mention the fans you get three 120 millimeter fans on front one 140 they're all connected to a DC, tripping DC connector and with two Molex. So when you do that, what you can do is control the speeds right on top of the case. You have lower speed and high speed and then pause as well. So the only thing that you can hear is the CPU tower cooler. Now, if you want an extra speed, you just push the third part of the switch and you get that extra speed. So placing the side panel you can barely hear this PC working even in the high speed fan RPMs and that's quite nice because after all I mean if you place this case in a server room you, you won't hear it because the other servers will be most likely 10 times louder than this one but okay nevertheless so what I wanted to say is if you decide to make this build into a extreme gaming PC you could do that without a problem Removing the hard drive cages, you actually get, and this is insane, 45 centimeters of freeze clearance for your graphic card. But with the hard drives, you actually get quite nice amount. It's 29 centimeters. So, for instance, I don't know, you can maybe remove this cage right here. Remove the 525 inch right at the top. Place the cage at the top and still have 8 hard drive brackets longer gpu and still everything will fi fit perfectly you have enough fans at the front let me just lower the speed uh you have three fans at the front that will blow through your hard drives and blow through the graphic card and you won't have any issues uh the cool thing about this case is uh, it reminds me back of the days when i was working as a system engineer and uh, we had a couple of uh, these which uh, really shown to be quite an outstanding cases so yeah, I'm really satisfied with the case in terms of loads of storage, silent possibility to manage the fan speed and even pause them completely. Easy enough uh, connection at the back. As you can see, it's quite nicely rearrangeable and uh, you have all the openings at the back for your hard drives or SSD, it depends what you decide to go with. And that's basically it. Uh, the hard drives aren't hot swappable just because you don't have a PCB board at the back that actually supports that kind of stuff. You actually do need to connect them with cables directly. And that's maybe the only downside, but I don't think we'll get that price for, for this case. If we had additional PCB board that actually supports hot swapping hard drives or SSDs. So guys, yeah, the P101 silent from Antec is an outstanding case without a doubt. And really it, I have nothing left to say it gives you loads of possibilities and uh, even if you decide you can always place a tempered glass on the side and maybe mount it by yourself that's an option for you if you decide to go with huge space but then again it, it's not the meaning of this case to go with something like that so guys i'll put the links below for the antec p101 silent which brings loads of stuff to the table and you could do whatever you wish so yeah loads of hard drives large graphic cards even loads of space for your power supply and cable rearrangement and organization quite outstanding check the links below don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the like button and notification bell 
for future content and of course don't forget to check out my other Antec videos that are right after this.